everyone today's uh, topic is on complements of numbers in the previous lecture we discussed about different number systems in that number systems we discussed about octal numbers binary numbers hexadecimal numbers so octal numbers will be having the numbers from 0 to 7 whereas binary numbers will be having only two number two digits that is 0 or 1 whichever the number i want to represent i need to use either 0 or 1 to represent that particular number and we also looked at the conversion of this particular hexadecimal to binary decimal to binary octal to binary and also decimal to other formats and octal to binary uh, and binary to octal and vice versa all these things like all the conversions we have discussed in the previous class so in today's class what we look at is here the operations which we do on these different type of numbers okay once we take these different numbers in decimal happily we will be starting with the addition of the numbers that is if i say that addition of 2 plus 2 then directly it will be 4 3 plus 2 5 we already know that because we already we learned it from our childhood itself but right now when we look at this particular different type of number systems what we need to do is here we need to look at the particular addition how it happens over there okay so now if i take the number system 0 plus 0 0 plus 1 1 plus 0 1 plus 1 how i'm going to, how we are going to do the addition we need to look at this one for example if i'm going to add two binary numbers 0 plus 0 the result and anyhow it will be 0 only there won't be any change and if i'm going to take 0 plus 1 here the resultant will be 1 and 1 plus 0 here the resultant will be 1 only but as soon as i do the addition of 1 plus 1 okay for example even i can consider this one as a decimal number or any binary number also if i add these two numbers the resultant has to be 2 the resultant has to be 2 but here the resultant will not like i can't write this result 2 in this particular decimal format rather than that i need to convert into binary format over there so that binary format i need to convert so this decimal number i'll be considering two ones are two and the remainder is zero and two zeros are zero and the remainder is one so if i write it in the binary format it will be one zero okay which is nothing but one zero over here so here whenever we do this particular single bit addition of these two particular numbers we need to do it in this way okay so here then and next one is here hexadecimal addition so whenever we consider this particular hexadecimal addition also just like in the previous case whenever i uh, i add these two numbers 4 plus 4 it will be 8 that is okay and whenever i do 4 plus 8 what is the number like what is 4 plus 8 is 12 what is 4 plus 8 is 12 so but do i have any 12 in hexadecimal format definitely no because all the numbers like from 0 to 15 is the range of a hexadecimal numbers okay so now when i look at this particular numbers 0 to 9 will be as such and after 9 i'll be having a b c d e f okay so for 10 the notation will be a for 11 the notation will be b for 12 the notation will be c likewise for 13 the notation will be d for 14 the notation will be e and for the 15 the notation will be f okay so now as you take it in this format okay so what i need to write it here is here instead of 12 i'll represent it in the form of c over here in hexadecimal okay hexadecimal addition over here so now as soon as i get here Next thing is 8 plus 7. So once I add these two numbers, the resultant is F, which is nothing but 15. Okay. The hexadecimal representation of this 15 is F. Okay. So likewise, I'm going to get this text. Next. Next is here. Next addition, I have F plus E. Okay. Whenever I add two numbers in hexadecimal, what I need to do is here, I need to take the F f actual value so what is the actual value of f in decimal that is 15 okay and what is actual value of um, pardon 12 13 14 15 okay and when i take the actual value of e then the value will be 14 okay so now once i add these two numbers 5 plus 4 is 9 
वन प्लस वन इज टू ओके लाइक दिस आई माइट बी गेटिंग बट द प्रॉब्लम इज हियर वी आर डूइंग द हेक्सा डेसिमल एडिशन सो फॉर दिस पर्पज वेन एवर आई आई डू दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ एडिशन वॉट आई नीड टू डू आई हैव टू कन्वर्ट इन टू आई कैन कन्वर्ट इन टू सिंपल simple binary format and i need to do the addition so now as soon as i get the, uh, like as soon as i uh, do the addition of these two things what i'll be getting is 1d and there will be a carry because of that one we'll be getting a 1d see uh, what we need to do is we need to convert this particular number into either binary or this particular decimal number and i need to add these two things once i add these two things and i'll be getting a resultant of these things so let's do this particular One bit addition of f and e. f is one, 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 one in binary, and e is one, 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 zero. Okay. As soon as I get this thing, okay. In have like once I convert this particular hexadecimal to binary, the resultant will be in this form. So one plus zero, one. One plus one, one plus one is. Two, so binary representation will be one plus one zero, and the carry is one. Okay, so now again one plus one plus one that is three, and its binary representation is one one. Okay, so sum will be one as well as the carry also will be one. So once I get this thing one plus one plus one again. Okay, so if I take these all three ones again, the resultant will be three, and the binary representation of this thing will be eleven over there. Okay. So here it is again one carry one. Okay. Once I get this number here, I do not have any extra numbers in the MSB again. So what I can convert, take it as some zeros might be there. So I'll just do one thing. I'll just add the same carry over here. Okay. I'll just add the same carry over here. So now once I have this number one 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 zero one. Okay. I need to convert this particular number back to hexadecimal format so how to convert this into hexadecimal format is i'll i'll take 4 4 bits because 2 power 4 is equals to 16 2 power 4 equals to 16 so because of this reason what i'll try to do is here i'll take 4 4 bits as one digit in hexadecimal format so once i look at this particular number 1 1 0 1 okay if i take this particular value and i take the 8 4 2 1 convention over here so at that time i'll be getting 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 1 13 so 13 is the number first number here 13 is the number and the rest is here what i need to do is i need to append zeros that is zero padding i need to do so that i'll be getting next four digits okay so the bind in the hexadecimal equivalent of this particular number 001 is here one itself okay so now if i take the hexadecimal representation into consideration just like the previous case here 13 representation in hexadecimal format is d that 13 representation is d so what i'll be getting is 1d okay so normally whenever i do the particular addition i need to be careful that like how to how to first we need to convert into any one of the normal formats and then i have to do the addition in between to the in between the numbers over there so here as we can see here this one this one is because of the carry because of the which of the carry we are having because of that i'm going to get it as 1d over here okay so now here the resultant is 1d so this is the hexadecimal addition and the binary addition how we are going to do for the four bit addition or uh, binary addition that is two bit addition over there okay the, those things now Does anyhow decimal addition we already know like uh, from the childhood we are going we are learning everything in the decimal format only so there is no need to mention that uh, particularly but next thing which we need to look at is here subtraction multiplication division all these things but the major thing is addition and subtraction in most of the uh, most of the algorithms over here so here when we look at the particular subtraction process. subtraction of numbers requires a different algorithm than addition just like the addition we can't do the subtraction in this particular digital system design 
adi adding a complement of a number is equivalent to subtraction so rather than doing a direct subtraction what we will do try to do is we'll try to complement the number and we'll add the particular complement of the number to this particular actual number then the resultant will be the subtraction of this particular number so for example uh, let us say that i have to do something like 7 minus 3 okay if i want to do 7 minus 3 directly i won't i won't do the subtraction in between these two numbers 7 and 3 rather than that what i'll try to do is here i'll convert this minus 3 into some complement format some complement format so once i get this complement format i'll be doing 7 plus of minus 3 that is complement of this particular number then the resultant will be getting like same result as the subtraction itself okay subtraction will be accomplished by adding a complement that is whenever i want to do the subtraction wherever i have the negative number i need to take it into consideration and i need to add it to the particular number that complement of the particular negative number has to be added to the other number so that i can get the particular subtraction over here okay so for getting this subtraction what we what we need to have is a complement of the particular negative number also so now the major task is how to do this particular complements how to perform the complement of a number that is to say like whether i have a binary digit or any uh, hexadecimal uh, digit or any binary digit or any octal digit whatever the digit might be there according to the radix i need to be able to convert in, uh, like i need to be get taking the complement of the particular digit over there so how to accomplish this task so that is by that given a, we will be having two different types of uh, components that is diminished radix component and the other one is simply radix comp i mean radix uh, component sorry so here i have diminished radix component and radix component so given a number capital n in base r having n digits the r minus 1's complement is nothing but defined as r power n minus 1 minus capital n okay so the particular number capital n in base r having n digits then the r minus 1's complement is defined by this particular value okay so this is nothing but diminished radix component so let us take an example here where we have r equals to 10 that is radix of the number is 10 radix of the number is 10 in the sense it is a decimal number we can say it is a decimal number so now the number is 1 2 3 4 in decimal format and how many digits are there in this number 1 2 3 4 4 four digits are there so now the n value will be small n value will be equals to 4 now once i substitute this in the previous formula that is r power n minus 1 so r power n in the sense here it is uh, r is 10 10 to the power of 4 10 to the power of 4 is 10000 minus 1 minus 1 is 9999 to the base to because it is a decimal number so now next is in the nines complement so now what we are trying to uh, do exactly is r minus 1 complement r is nothing but 10 minus 1 is 9 so what we are getting is a nines complement so the nines complement of 2 1 2 3 4 to the base 10 is na, trip, sorry quadruple 9 minus 1 2 3 4 once you subtract this thing definitely you are going to get 8 7 6 5 so this is nothing but the complement of this particular 1 2 3 4 which you are going to get okay so now let us start discussing about the major uh, complement number of the two numbers that is first thing which we need to learn is a ones complement the other one is a twos complement numbers two type of uh, complements are here so now ones complement is again the binary com like for binary numbers whichever the binary numbers we have if we are going to do any complement the we will be accomplishing only by using ones complement here radix of the number is equals to 2 that is why here it is r minus 1's complement that is nothing but r 2 minus 1 that is 1's complement okay so here to calculate the 1's complement of a binary number just flip each bit of the original binary number okay mm -hmm. this is the easiest procedure to perform this particular uh, 1's complement so here what we need to do is here whenever i have zero i need to convert into 1 wherever i have 1 i'll be converting it to zero okay this is the same thing just like the previous procedure so now let us take for example 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 
and the result and one's complement will be one zero one zero one zero one one zero one one. This is just flipping instead. Like if I have zero, I'll convert into one. If I have one, I'll convert into zero. So this is, a, this is the only thing. And let us see like whether this procedure is correct or wrong. So what I have is here r to the power of n minus one. Minus capital N, right? So now what I'll do is r to the power of n in the sense r is nothing but two. Two to the power of n is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven numbers are there here. Okay, two to the power of eleven. You please perform two to the power of eleven minus one. Okay, so at that time you'll be getting a number. Just subtract that number with this particular number. Then the resultant will be definitely this number. Okay, and in simple sense, if you want to remember the ones complement format, it's better to do flip the numbers. Like whenever wherever you have, just change it to one. Wherever you have one, change it to zero. This is the simplest way to perform the ones complement. Okay, so for r equals to two. Capital N equals to zero. This is the number zero one 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 zero zero one one, and N equals to How many digits? Eight digits are there. So we have r power n minus one is equals to two fifty six minus one. That is two to the power of eight equals to two fifty six. Okay, two fifty six. Two fifty six minus one. We need to perform over that. So two fifty six minus one equals to two fifty five. Two fifty five resultant will be again. We need to like when I when I try to write two fifty five in the binary format, then it will be one 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 to the base two. Okay, here also in the previous slide here, two to the power of four in the sense like what we need to do is two zero four eight minus one. Two zero four eight in the sense two zero four seven will be getting. Okay, so with respect to that, how many numbers I'll be getting is here one 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 one, one. minus this number. So zero one zero one zero one zero zero. One zero zero. So if I do the subtraction between these two things, one minus zero one, one minus zero one minus one zero, one minus one zero one one zero one zero one zero one. So the resultant is same as this particular number as you can see. Okay, just by flipping the numbers easily, you can get this results instead of doing the complete two fifty six like complete operation over there. Okay, so here in this case, what we are doing is two fifty five. We are converting into the binary format again. What we are doing is this number we are taking into consideration and subtracting it with this particular given capital N value. That is the resultant will be one zero 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 one one zero zero. This is the binary format. Okay. Now let us see the simple trick also. So now the actual number is zero one 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 zero zero one one. Okay. Now Simple in simple in simple manner. What I'll do, I'll just flip the numbers. That's it. Instead of one, what I'll need to write is zero. Instead of one, I need to write zero. Instead of zero, I need to write zero one one zero one zero one zero one zero again one. So just look at the numbers here. Both are same. Both are same. Just by flipping the numbers easily, we can get it. So since the Two to the power of n minus one factor consists of all ones, and since one minus zero equals to one, and one minus one equals to zero, forming the ones complement consists of complementing each individual bit. Okay. So next one is radix complement. Previously, what we learned is a r minus one complement. Now let us look at the r's complement format that is called as the radix complement, which is defined as here. R to the power of n minus capital N instead of R minus one. R to the, I mean R to the power of minus one. Here we are going to write it as R to the power of n itself for n not equals to zero and zero for n equals to zero. Okay, so for n only non-zero numbers we are going to use this particular format over here. So here note that the radix complement is obtained by adding one to the diminished radix component. So just like in the previous case, R to the power of n minus one minus n capital n is there right so to that particular number here in simple sense what we can say minus n is the actual one so if i add one more one to this one okay this one this one will be cancelled and again the resultant will be r to the power of n minus capital n so simply we can say by adding a one to the diminished radix com radix component uh, complement here we can get this particular radix component in it okay 
So for example, if I look at this particular number for r equals to 10, which is a decimal number, I have capital N value equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, N equals to 4. Previously, what we did was R minus 1's complement. Here we are doing R's complement itself. So R to the power of N, that is 2 to, no, sorry, uh, 10 to the power of 4. 10 to the power of 4 is nothing but 10,000 here. So the times complement of 1, 2, 3, 4 to the base 10 is then given by 10,000 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 8766, which is 8766. This is, this is the R's complement, that is a 10's complement of 1, 2, 3, 4. Previously, 9's complement is 8765. 8765 9's complement. So plus 1, if I'm going to add it, I'm going to get this particular 8766 back. Okay, so this is nothing but the radix complement. So let us look at the binary complement also because I want to do the binary subtraction also. So for that purpose, I will be doing the binary twos complement also. So in simple sense, what I can say is twos complement is nothing but one's complement plus one. I can simply say that. But let us move according to the procedure first. Then let's look at how we are going to get it. Okay. So for r equals to two, capital N value equals to zero, triple one is double zero, double one. N equals to small n equals to eight number of digits are there. Then we have r to the power of n equals to two fifty six, which we can write in the format as here one zero 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 zero. zero, zero. Extra, extra, extra digit we are going to get in this one. So now as we have this particular binary format here, I'll be subtracting it from, from the capital N value. So once I subtract in the capital N value, the resultant number is this one. The resultant number is this one. Now let us look at the result. How we are going to get the result here. See, first what we'll do is we'll do the ones complement of this particular number. Okay. One, one. So the ones complement of this number is one. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So now what I'll do, I'll just simply add 1 here. Okay, if I add 1, what I'll be getting? 0 plus 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1. So the result in here is this one. As you can see, this number and this number both are same. So it is simply 1's complement plus as you can see here, note that the 2's complement is nothing but the 1's complement plus 1. Whichever the result we have seen, that is the proof of this particular thing. Okay. So, now, instead of doing the 1's complement and again this, then adding 1 to this one, what we can do is, we can do a in a more efficient manner over here. That is, if I consider any particular number, a n minus 1, a n minus 2, so on up to a i plus 1. 1, 0, so on, 0, 0 is there. In, in general, if I have this type of number is there. Okay. So, where for some digit position i, a i is 1 and all digits to the right are 0. Form the 2's complement value this way. That is to say, leave a i equal to 1 unchanged. Whichever a i value is there, if I have. So, this, if, we, if this is a i plus 1, definitely this will be, I mean, this will be a i value only. Okay, AI value. So now as I have this AI value to equal to 1, see here, what I need to do is I need to put this one value as such, one value as such and the rest of the zeros also just like that. I won't change anything till here. The next procedure what I'll do is leave the rightmost digits to 0. That is I'll leave all these rightmost digits. Rightmost digits means whichever the digits are coming at the right. So I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll place it unchanged okay next what i'll do i'll just complement the rest of the values which i have till here till here which of the values i have i'll be doing the ones complement of this one ones complement like if i have a plus one equals to zero i'll replace it by one if i have a plus one equals to one then i'll replace it by zero so like that we can just perform the two's complement let us see one example here uh, okay, for example, if I have any particular number here, pre let us take the previous number only. Here, let us take the previous number only. So now, what is the number which we have, which we need to convert into two's complement? Just take the number 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So now, when I look at from the this particular right side to the, that is LSB to the MSB side here, first number is 1. Okay, as soon as I get 1, what I need to do, I need to place it as such. Okay, I need, I, I, I don't change, I won't change anything 
okay in the uh, until and unless get i get the zero from the lsb side i won't change anything so i'll just put it as such uh, whenever i get one i'll just replace it and from here onwards i'll just complement the numbers that is if i have one i'll just replace it by zero if i have zero one one zero 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 one just look at these numbers this number and this number both are equal both are equal so this is the easiest way and a very efficient way to find the two's complement format okay to calculate the two's complement just calculate the one's complement then add one or do handy trick is leave all of the least significant zeros and first one unchanged then flip the bits for all other digits which we have done so as you can see this is the example these two zeros we'll just place as such here okay and as soon as i get one what i'll do is here as soon as i get one okay the rest of the digits the rest of the digits still here i'll just flip it zero will be changed to one zero will be changed to one one will be changed to zero and likewise okay so as you can see one zero zero one zero zero one zero zero are same the rest of the digits are complemented that is we are performing the one's complement on this particular numbers okay so let us take some examples that is here this is the another example so now to perform the two's complement what i'll do is here first one from right is this one what i'll do is here i'll get first one from here okay next after after getting this what i need to do complement the leftmost leftmost digits to this one that is what are the leftmost digits which are these things okay what i'll do i'll complement this one. instead of 1 0 1 0 0 1 like that i need to complement all the particular numbers okay that's it. this becomes in this way okay whichever the number i have 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 will be coming this one and finally the resultant is such okay so here this is the easiest way to perform the two's complement format like whenever i want to convert any any particular number into two's complement format the easiest way to is to do this this particular process this is a very very handy trick but if you are unable to remember this trick what you can do is you can just simply for, perform the once complement and just add plus one to the resultant thing then also you'll be getting the two's complement format only okay so another example is here that is if i have this particular one zero zero so like if i take the number as one zero 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 into consideration then minus of that one particular thing is again we are going to cross check it that's it so here what we get the two's complement of zero is zero and the result in could be sometimes sometimes like if we have this particular number here if we are going to consider this particular number okay and if i want to perform the two's complement format then what i can do i what i can do is here i i, I can get uh, sometimes i can get the resultant to be minus one also okay so in some cases in some cases where the most significant bit most significant bit equals to one most significant bit equals to one in that situations we should decide whether we are dealing with the signed numbers or unsigned numbers so if i take any particular negative number into any particular negative number into consideration okay if i try to the write the binary representation of this particular number okay that negative number if i write minus seven okay seven will be having a binary representation of one 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 but how to express this negative number that is the actual question over there. So to represent this negative number also, what our computer does is here, it takes some binary digits itself, takes some binary digits itself. So when it takes some binary digit, then what it will replace it by, if it is a signed number, which we are going to consider, signed number in the sense, plus anyhow, we won't do anything, we won't mention anything. But if it is a negative number, definitely we'll be mentioning it by one over there okay so i when whenever i do this type of thing whenever i do this type of thing here i need to be careful while i'm doing the complement format because actually this represents the particular 
sign of the particular complement it doesn't signify the actual actual value of the particular number so that's why we should be careful so whenever we do the do two's complement format sometime we need to be sure okay the two's complement of a particular zero value is also whatever we get is a all zeros only but this could be sometimes this could be something like a negative number also and sometimes it can be also be something like a Plus one also. Like what I what I'll do in the next step is I'll add ones. I'll add ones to this one. So it can be plus one also. So in this type of in this type of such type of situations where we where there is an ambiguity where there is an ambiguity. So for example, here uh, let us consider the same example here. What I have the number is here one zero 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 one zero zero. So what is this? Is nothing but it is two fifty six. Okay, and here the number of digits will be n equals to eight, and uh, capital n value is here. This one capital n value is this one. So now, if I take such type of number, well and good, I am getting the number. Now, if I am going to convert the two's complement of zero, how I am going to do it again? Even if I take there are eight 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 bits in this particular thing, eight bits are there in this particular thing. Then again. The I need to write the two fifty two fifty six representation of this thing in binary, and I'll do the minus here. But the resultant here I'll be getting extra one, extra one over here. Okay, there the problem starts. Okay, so that's why we have to be careful when we are dealing with this type of complements. Whenever we are going to deal, we have to be careful. Like if we are going to deal with any negative numbers, here comes the need for the uh, proper. Uh, consideration of the sign numbers and the unsigned numbers. Okay, so here sign numbers like are nothing but positive numbers and zero can be represented by unsigned n-digit radix r numbers. We need a representation for negative numbers. We can't just like that represent these negative numbers. Definitely, we need a we need a representation for this particular negative numbers to represent a sign. Plus or minus, we need exactly one more bit of information. That is, one binary digit gives two power one. That is equals to two elements, which is exactly what is needed. What we need to give us, we need to give the particular information over there, whether it is a positive number or the negative number. So here, at least we need the extra. Bit over the extra bit over the. Since most computers use binary numbers by convention and for convenience, the most significant bit is interpreted as a sign bit, as shown in the below. Okay. So what we try to do is the most significant bit. What we'll try to do is in most of the computer system technology, they'll take the most significant bit to be a signed representation of this particular number. That is, if it is zero, we'll say it is a positive number. If it is one, we'll say it is a negative number. Okay. So according to the most significant bit number, we'll decide whether it is a positive number or any particular negative number. Okay, so and this A I R zero sign ones. All these are zero or one, so on over there. Okay, so this is the way how we represent the particular signed numbers. Okay, so in the next class we learn how to perform the subtraction and uh, how to deal with this particular signed numbers. How to do the complement of these signed numbers. All these things we will discuss in the next class. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. For more updates.